Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome to the show as I attempt to bring you just some of the Hershey Car Show here in Pennsylvania for 2023 in this week's Classic Restos on the road stateside. <laughs> It's another early start, and that's when you see the vehicles arrive in fine style. There's something about the automobile. Time can be measured by them. Moving shrines in most cases, representing the proud individuals that once purchased them. A step back in time, steeped with style and magnificent history. This is Hershey one of the largest prestige automobile park-ups. On the field, set in a beautiful leafy environment, just across the street from the enormous past three days Hershey Swap Meet. The Hershey region began hosting this show back in 1955 and it has never missed a beat since then. Hershey is considered one of the largest antique automobile shows in the United States and this episode of Classic Restos will proudly bring you some of it. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not the best look to present in, but the weather has closed in on us here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And like I said in the intro, I will do my very best to bring you a full episode here of the 2023 event. No stranger to Classic Restos, Murray Park. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Fletch. How are you? I'm great and you? I'm great to see you. Been a, a few years. Absolutely. Now, as I alluded to, Murray is no stranger to Classic Restos, and you're going to be seeing more of Murray uh, in some episodes uh, as we cross the United States for 2023. Uh, Murray plays an integral part uh, in the parts business. He does a wonderful job. He's become a personal friend as well, and it, it's always great to catch up with him in Ohio, and, and you will see that down the track. Um, but today at Hershey, Murray's car, uh, a fresh restoration that's taken 12 years. It's a 1960 DeSoto. The car was in really bad condition when he got it. It's been fully restored and I couldn't think of a, of a nicer car to start today's episode. Thanks Fletch. It was a lot of work but I think it was well worth it in the end. I've had it for about 12 years. I didn't, the restoration didn't start till about eight years ago um, but it took eight years to get it finished to this point which it's pretty well finished. Um, really hard to get parts for even for me. I mean I got Jeez, that, that's saying something. Yeah, it's just a it's just a, a car. There's they're just not out there. Yeah. And uh, this particular one, being a Ram induction car, they only built 93 of them. Even though the the body of the car is not special, it it's uh, makes for a lot of unique stuff. Uh, and we're, we're talking a 383 uh, cross Ram induction too, aren't we? Uh, yes, that's correct. 383 with Ram induction uh, and a torque flight push button automatic. Yes. The cross ram inductions on these things look fantastic. That cross ram, uh, maybe a 413 comes to mind, but being a DeSoto, a 383, correct? Yes, correct. They were uh, DeSoto only was available with 383 with cross ram on the cross ram option. They never had a 413. Um, what size are the four barrels? Uh, they're Carter AFB. I'm not sure the CFM. Uh, same carburetors used on the Chrysler 300F and 300G. They look sensational, don't they? Yeah, very much. It's the coolest looking engine. <laughs> it's quite intimidating, really. Oh, definitely. I go to a lot of local shows and people look at it and don't even know what they're, they have no idea what they're looking at. So. Now look, you're a guy that, uh, you know, you know what performance is about. You know a nice car when you drive one. So for 1960, for the year, how does this DeSoto drive? Actually drives very well, Fletch. Um, I've only put about 600 miles on it since the restoration's been finished, but I've taken on a few 50, 60 mile trips and it, great driving car, very comfortable. 
We look at the lines of this car out the back with the rear quarter, that beautiful curvature across the top edge there of that, uh, the rear quarter at the top there, and then just, you know, lacing itself into the shape of those tail lights for that die cast chrome. We've got chrome accents through the lens, which, you know, it just, it spells class all day long. Of course, the, you know, the two inch wide or 50 mil wide uh, stainless steel tr uh, trim down the side of the car, uh, breaking the red. It, it's just a beautiful looking machine. Um, and then, of course, Murray, there's the interior. Now, on a recent episode with Herb McCandless uh, in North Carolina, uh, what a great guy Herb is. Uh, and he does incredible stuff. Uh, I noticed the, the carpet with the Adventurer had like the stars, the pattern like a glitter through the floor carpet. Yes, yeah, star dusted, yes. Sparkly carpet, can't beat that. <laughs> it looks like, and when you first look, it's like this guy hasn't vacuumed it. Yeah, it looks like you you threw a bunch of metal shavings on there and forgot to clean them up, but it's it's really cool. I, it's, it's, it's really makes it look special when you open the door, you know? Um, so something I've learned this trip, that is just for the Adventurers, right? Yes, only the Adventurers had that, yes. And uh, what year did the Adventurer start and finish? Uh, the first Adventure was 56, and the last one was 60. What an incredible era. When the families that, I guess, were just maybe a, a little ahead of most financially just could afford that upper echelon of type of station wagon, for example. Right, yeah, this, this car, as DeSotos go, it was about the highest price DeSoto you could buy. Is that a record player under the dash? Yep, it's a 45 record player, which is original to the car. Um, it's actually a changer. You can put 14 records on it, and it, you, it'll play through them as you drive. Wow. And works great. Everybody asks me, how, how can you do that going down the road? Yeah. It plays perfect. Yeah. Railroad tracks, it, it stuff on the throttle, it doesn't skip. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've tried it. <laughs> I, I know you would have. So it, it, it doesn't jump a track, or it just doesn't, it just doesn't uh, interfere with the music playing whatsoever? No, nope, it plays beautifully. Being this DeSoto that it is, a picture of opulence, it's also got some pretty cool features. What's one you'd like to share with us? Well, Fletch, it's got a one-year-only feature that is automatic swivel seat. So when you open the door, the seat automatically unlatches, swivels so you can get out, and then when you close the door, it automatically turns back in to close it. And that's a 1960-only feature, which was optional, obviously. So explain how that works. There must be some sort of cable that runs around. Yeah, there's a cable that comes from the door hinge. You have to have the door all the way open. You can't have it part way open. You have to have the door all the way open. And there's actually an extra spring, which we can show you, um, on the hinges that actually helps the door open faster. It's like a the same effect as a torsion bar. It's yes. a, they, yes. a, a, a vertical spring. Correct, yep. It's a torsion bar and it kind of springs the door open, so you have to be very careful if you're parked in a tight spot or you'll bash it right into whatever's next to you. Yes. <laughs> Murray, fantastic catching up. You're going to see Murray uh, in another episode of Classic Restos very soon on the show as we make our way to Ohio. We spend a bit of time in Murray's town in Ohio and uh, there's some content there that I'm going to share with you very, very soon on the show. But for now, Murray, wonderful catching up. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you, Fletch. I appreciate it and can't wait to your visit. When I was a kid, I loved cars. Still do. The 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brian was the most advanced car in the world. Cost more than a Rolls. Hand built with a stainless steel roof, cruise control, electric seats, and would you believe, air suspension. American iron. It's a passion Shannons understand. That's why they ensure my daily drive, the caddy, my bike, even the house. Call Shannons on 13 46 46. Shannons, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Now, although we've just featured Murray's car, an incredible DeSoto, there's another Mopar here, but this could be any make or model. The reason that I'm here is to interview Jim because it's a unique story. How are you, Jim? All right, Fletch, how you been? I'm great, thank you. You've got a 1957 D500 car here. It's a Hemi car, and uh, 
You bought it when it was 10 years old, right? That's right, I bought it in 1967. An old person had the car, he ordered it new with a Hemi engine in it, and he traded it in at a dealership that I worked at when I was a kid washing cars and stuff. And um, the dealer had it up for sale and I asked him how much he wanted for it and he said 50 bucks. So I thought $50, I mean that was back when I was making 75 cents an hour, so, you know, it was a pretty good deal, I guess. And uh, I drove it for about two years, and the engine went bad, and we parked it in the barn for uh, 48 years. And uh, then we got it out. It took us uh, about four hours to get it out of the barn, and uh, we redid the whole thing, and um, there it is. Your attention to detail is absolutely superb. What, what an incredible vehicle. As I said earlier, uh, I know it's the second Mopar we've featured, but this could have, been a, a, could have been a Chev, could have been a Lincoln, could have been anything. It's just the condition. And this car show here at Hershey attracts this quality. And when they come with a unique story, that's even nicer. Now, a 325 Hemi is sitting there, Jim? Yes. Is, was that an odd displacement for the year? It was. Uh, most people ordered a car with a Hemi with a two-door hardtop or a convertible. Yeah. And the unique part about this is the old guy ordered a Hemi and a four-door sedan. Yeah, yeah. We were approached one time for the AACA Museum here. They had a display called, yeah, that's a Hemi. And uh, they wanted to know if I would uh, enter you know, yeah. it for their yeah. display. And I said, yeah, sure. They wanted me to write a little story about it, which I'm not a very good story writer. But uh, I had it in the barn for, like I said, about 48 years. My wife told me years, you know, you should get it out of the barn, fix it up before it rusts to nothing. <laughs> I told her it's perfectly good where it is. And, uh, well, long story short, it wasn't. Yeah. It rusted terribly bad. I, everything rusted on it. So we spent uh, about two and a half years restoring it. And then um, the, the one in the bottom of the story, that, you know, I thought, well, this would be a pretty good catch. I said, if there's any moral to this story at all, it's you should listen to your wife once in a while. Good words, Jim, good words. And also, don't ever pass the opportunity of paying $50 for a Hemi car. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> neat. But, you know, yeah. back then, it was just a car. Although the spotlight emphasis was around then to recognise the Hemi as a powerful engine, it was used for racing and what have you, but since then it's had the decades uh, for it to build and uh, get to the fame of where the Hemi is now. Yeah, it, re it uh, revolved from like the small Hemi to the 426 Hemis and... Yeah. I mean, that was, that's the engine still for drag racing. Well, Mr. Tom Hoover uh, played an integral part of the engineering in the early Hemis, and that technology flowed through to the, the, the later Hemis in the 426, and even the small block Chryslers even gained some of that experience into those small block engines, so there's a lot of great history there. Jim, thank you for your time. I think it's a, it's, it's a beautiful story to think that you've had this car since 1967, yeah. and it's been in a barn all that time, and look at the restoration on this car. It's a credit to you, Jim. Thank you, Fletch. Appreciate it. And moving through the Hershey Car Show for 2023, cars that are accoladed through the double ACA are of the highest standard. I have one here. How are you, Hank? I'm doing really good, Fletch. How about you? Great, fantastic. I'm kind of blown away with this Eldorado. Oh, yeah. uh, 1960 car. Yeah, 1960 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz. Unbelievable. The different trim down the side profile of the car, yeah. uh, the Eldorado block badging there just really, you know, sets yeah. this car yeah. apart, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, uh, tell us the story. When did you buy it and I what you've done to it? I purchased this car in 2007. And uh, so I uh, have worked with cars since all my life, since I was a kid, but it's more like a hobby for me. So I took on this car and wanted to restore it. So it was a car with about 50,000 miles and it was a little bit rusted and stuff like that. So I, um, I restored it and it took 10 years for me to restore this car. You took your time, but the yeah. perseverance pays off. You'll agree here that the attention to detail from Hank is 
it's concourse. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, being 1960 and the Eldorado, it's fully loaded, this thing. Yeah. Run, run us through some of the options uh, that the car came with, Hank. Yeah, Fletch, this is a car that came original with a lot of options. And it has air ride, which is very unusual. Uh, 1960, they had air ride originally on Cadillac Eldorados. Air ride, air ride suspension. Yeah, air ride suspension. And there was a lot of issues with it, so they took it away and put springs on them. Yep. So this was a car that had everything there, but it needed to be restored. Yes. So, you see, so it has the air ride, it has three two-barrel carburetors, which is 345 horsepower. It has automatic eye, and it has a cruise control, air condition, so it has all the options on it. And of course the leather inserts yeah. in the interior. Yeah, the leather interior, that's yeah. uh, that was a, an original item, 1960, but you can special order it if you wanted something different. Yeah. Hank, thank you very much for your time today. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm glad to have you guys here in America. And it's nice to see you guys. I hope it brings some uh, information to your country and, and they get more interested in the old classic cars. Well, thank you very much, Hank. And w we've got an epitome of an event here. Uh, you know, this is a, a flagship event. It attracts some of the finest automobiles from, well, that you'd find anywhere in the United States, yeah, co correct? Exactly. Yeah, it's about 1,500 cars here. This is the biggest in the United States. Yeah. If you can win this car show, yeah. you have the best. <laughs> okay, Hank. Now, we started off with some rain this morning. Uh, we're, uh, we're having a bit of a good run at the moment, so yeah. I'll let you go and enjoy the event. Thank okay. you. Thank you, much. Appreciate it, Fletch. Thank you. Thank you, Hank. A little bit of a fun fact here with the Cadillacs, the aficionados would appreciate this. But when they're a Seville, that's a hard top with a vinyl roof, you can delete without a vinyl roof. But when it's a Brits, that is a convertible soft top. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. Shannon's cater for all kinds of motoring enthusiasts. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646. And of course the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information as to how to sign up and become a member of Australia's largest automotive online hub, visit shannons.com.au. Moving on through into the Ford camp now here this afternoon at Hershey. How are you Marlene? I'm great Fletch. It's been a wonderful day. Absolutely. This car of yours, very, very rare. It was brought to my attention, the 1967 Mustang branded. Now, this was done apparently at dealership level, correct? Yes, it was done by the dealers. It was a promotion from Ford. So some of the parts have Ford part numbers and um, port copy, Ford copyright on them. So I wonder what their thinking was. Do you think it might have been aimed at the, the country market, uh, the ranches, uh, being the horse and branded? Do you, where do you reckon they were going with that? I think they wanted to do something different and they wanted to sell Mustangs. So it was for new and used Mustangs. So they made them for multiple years. Okay. Now now, condition of it when you got it? It was found in Texas and it was in pretty bad shape. But we could tell that it was a branded because of the emblems and the moldings and a little bit of the stripes left on it. So when we look at the branded uh, on the turret there, there's just three Phillips head screws that keeps that on there. So that'd be a dead giveaway, wouldn't it? Yes, if you had three random holes in your side pillars, you would know something maybe was different about your car. Um, I, I, I really like, it's so different, I, I guess it's one of those things where you have to like it because it, it just stands out. Um, a paisley type or a brocade type vinyl is the material? Yes, there were three different options, a paisley, the sculpted and then like a leather grainy type yeah. and all different colours, some with flowers, some iridescent, some yeah. kind of plain, yeah. so it, it was something that you could kind of customise your car. Yeah. 
Yeah, and being in the late 60s too and uh, early 70s, almost like the, the hippie era and outlandish uh, kaleidoscopes of colours and, mm-hmm. and, you know, manufacturers were adventurous with their, with their themes, weren't they? Yes, uh, there were a lot of different, um, Ford had a lot of different special options and I think they really had hoped this would take off nationwide. Now Marlene, what you've done here, concourse condition, 289 Windsor, got to love that. I was explaining to Marlene that in Australia that was the engine that won our Bathurst in 67 by Freddie Gibson. The little 289 is a, a little screamer of engine. You've done a beautiful job here restoring it. Factory colours, decals, auto light battery, uh, the uh, reservoir bag over there with Ford on the on the bag there. Attention to detail all the way. You've done a magnificent oh, job. Thank you. Thank you. And the burnt amber paint with the parchment interior sets it off. I think it's really nice that way. I also like that interior too. It's very clean. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's uncluttered, just some nice lines on the dashboard. And uh, also too, the style of the, uh, of, of, of the horn button in the centre of the wheel, uh, that carried on into our early Falcons in, a, in Australia as well. Oh, okay. Wow. We have something in common then. <laughs> uh, without you guys, we would not have had our, our Falcons in Australia. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Marlene, thank you for catching up. Uh, I just love what you've done here. I, it's just a, it's a beautiful restoration. Right. Thank you, Fletch, and thanks. It was nice talking to you today. Thanks, Marlene. Enjoy the rest of Hershey here. I hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. One thing about the car show here at Hershey, it attracts automobiles from the beginning of the turn of the last century right the way through into the Art Deco period now with this incredible 1938 Lincoln, a Model K. How are you, Manny? I'm fine, thank you, sir. This is an, an extraordinary automobile. What can you tell us? Okay, it's uh, one of four built. It's a LeBaron body, and there's two in existence. This one and another one in California, both being the same color, yellow. Same condition? Same. Uh, no, the one in California is, needs to be done, but it's in nice condition. Right, right. Manny, uh, how does it feel to own such an incredible automobile? It, it feels very good, and I, the labor of my the love is coming true. I enjoy working on them, showing them. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Did you ever think you'd end up with a car like this? Uh, no, no. How long have you had it? Uh, believe it or not, three years. Right, right. Three years. How does it drive as a car? Well, no, we're, to, we're, to, we're talking 1938. It's excellent. Wow. It's got a V12 motor, which draws out a lot of power, uh, a lot of torque. I can imagine in low gear the amount of torque that it would have. Yes, in, in low gear I can put the car at a dead stop in third gear and move forward with no bucking or hesitation. You can take off in third? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, have a look at the style of this Lincoln. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, we start from the fenders uh, with almost like a teardrop headlight uh, mounted into the fender through past the spare wheel. And look at that, how proud it is back in a time when automobile manufacturers were proud of their manufacturer with, with Lincoln V12 there very proudly uh, on a blue label. Got a very wide running board out to the rear fender. It's just class all day long with this man, isn't it? Yes, it is. But a lot of people comment on the color as well. They, they love the color. Okay, it looks to me like what some would say, cream or a buttermilk. What, what, what's the name of the color? It's a crimson yellow, and it's this original color. Also, too, uh, the top can come off. It's also a convertible, man. Oh, yes, the, the convertible top folds down, and then uh, it becomes, and then you roll the windows down, and it becomes an open car all the way. The interior, I love that dash. Mm-hmm. We're pretty well halfway through or towards the Art Deco era, but mm-hmm. it's uh, got a level of simplicity. Uh, Lincoln V12 mm-hmm. up there into the dash as well, right. and that beautiful leather seat. Yes, that's the original color. Had that match to the original piece of leather that I had underneath the seat. How long did it take to restore this vehicle? One year. Worked on it like a day and night almost. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's such a, a duration for a restoration. I think from over the years and talking to people, I suppose we're looking at around about three years as an, a, as, a, as an average. But uh, you were doing well for one. Yes. So we did it, worked very hard on it and did everything the right way with all the original parts. 
Manny, it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you at the car show here at Hershey in Pennsylvania for 2023. Thank you very much for your time. You're quite welcome, Fletch. It's been a pleasure to meet you and talk to you. So you've seen just some of the 2023 Hershey Classic Car Show here in Pennsylvania. And there's more content coming your way next week as myself and Mark from Shannon's make our way across the United States of America. I hope you're enjoying the episodes. Until then, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch. Thanks for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Classic Restos TV and watch catch-up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.